intercostal nerve blocks is effective as primary pain management modality or in conjunction with thoracic surgery for chest wall and upper abdominal pain there is lot of overlap between uh, specialties pain specialists spine surgeons thoracic surgeons all uh, proceed, uh, proceed with this uh, technique the indications are incisional pain from thoracic surgery analgesia for thoracostomy herpes zoster infection rib fractures breast surgery upper abdominal surgery it is it can be used as a diagnostic modality to differentiate between visceral and somatic pain in a spine surgeon's practice it is most commonly used for a far lateral thoracic disc collapse with only radicular symptoms where the patient doesn't want to go ahead with the surgeon contraindications are few absolute contraindication is patient refusal and active infection at the injection site allergy to local anesthetic prior nerve injury and coagulopathy are few relative contraindications like any other procedure to know the anatomy well is very much pertinent to this procedure so 12 pair of thoracic nerve roots give rise to 12 pair of intercostal nerve nerves immediately after the foramen they divide into dorsal rootlet that supplies the uh, paraspinal muscles and skin over it and a ventral rootlet that continue as a intercostal nerve along the costal groove of the same rib it divides in a mid axillary line gives a muscular branch at that level and it travels anteriorly again it divides into a medial and lateral branches and it anastomoses with opposite side intercostal nerve effectively this intercostal nerve is responsible for sensory supply to whole trunk back anterior chest wall and upper abdominal wall so the muscle layer in the intercostal spaces are external intercostal then internal intercostal and the innermost intercostal the nerve travels in a neurovascular bundle along with intercostal vein artery and nerve nerve being the bottom most and they remain in innermost and internal intercostal groove as they are in a neurovascular bundle that's why there is high uptake of local anesthetic agent coming to the surgical technique we have more easier less resource intensive neuroscopic guided technique and pain specialists mainly used ultrasound guided technique this is more accurate there is less chance of intravascular injection and less chance of pneumothorax as you can directly visualize the nerve and you can direct for more medial injection that will allow a dorsal branch block as well giving complete anesthesia to that dermatome i'll go ahead with a demonstration video with of a a fluoroscopic guided technique i'll just uh, share my technique here the position is uh, prone in my case the patient should be attached with pulse oximetry ecg leads and bp cuff a physician anesthetist standby is preferable uh, in the setting of unfortunate complications of pneumothorax patient lies on parallel pillows on the chest wall and we we'll confirm the level either counting from 12 rib upwards or by fluoroscopy the at upper thoracic levels scapula and medial muscles come in the way of inter uh, costal groove it is difficult to palpate the intercostal groove at this level so dangling of both the upper limb from the side of the table will distract the scapula and that will help locate the intercostal groove we mark the sinus process that helps to measure the distance of our injection at upper thoracic level d1 to d6 
the rib angle usually lies 4 to 6 cm lateral to midline and at low, lower thoracic level d7 to d12 it is about 6 to 8 cm lateral in our technique after standard skin preparation level is marked in a ap fluoroscope the artery tip can be marked as a metal marker and the lower edge of the intended rib is marked a 22g spinal needle is introduced at inferior edge of the rib with a 20 degree cephalad angulation various authors describe minute variations in techniques uh, for this needle introduction some uh, pull the skin upward and introduce the needle at the middle of the rib and then leave it so that the needle retract with the skin inferior wards or you can directly hit the inferior edge of the rib with your needle then walk on the inferior edge and dip another 2 to 3 mm not more than that be very careful at this stage because inadvertent advance of the needle may cause pneumothorax you might feel a definite pop that is the piercing of internal intercostal fascia at this level that means you are in the plane between internal intercostal and innermost intercostal that is the space where your nerve is a water soluble dye may be used for confirmation but that is not mandatory we prefer short acting local anesthetic agent like lignocaine because as it runs in a neurovascular bundle there is very high uptake of local anesthetic and a long acting local anesthetic like like bupivacaine might cause severe toxicity for multiple rib fracture conditions when we want to block multiple ribs intercostal nerves safe dose of anesthetic should be calculated beforehand this is a small video presentation of this case so i'm standing on the left side so this is i'm just advancing and i'm hitting the lower edge of the uh, rib and tactile feeling this video Sorry. is not playing on my screen video is not playing can anybody here, see here i can see the video is playing no, i don't know no, i cannot see the video no no we i don't think anybody video. can see the no, video can, uh, nobody can see it just just a minute i'll just uh, start it you have to share the video uh, click on the uh, yes it was running in my screen i don't know why you want share this screen please and then again uh, share the share the, 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 the video separately okay i can share, share the video share the video separately yeah yeah i can do that is it visible now yes 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 yeah so you uh, in advance your needle after marking the level and hit the lower edge of the bone rib and check it in the fluoroscopy with 10, 20 degree approximate angulation but that can be varied off according to your feel then you gently slide off the inferior edge and don't advance further like like 2 to 3 mm more not more than that so okay so the video the who was i taking the video he was focusing once on me and once on the yeah it's not very good presentation but it's more more like a feel dependent and uh, even confirm it with a radio pick die but that's not my level so i had a surgery lined up before that i did the uh, demonstration procedure so it's uh, only 1 to 2 ml of lignocaine has been injected so just 
final so this is the final location of that video uh, i can so nothing nothing more that's all uh, the complications are mainly pneumothorax and uh, sometimes uh, there is a high uptake of the local anesthetic from the local side and they, that may cause uh, central or cardiovascular side effects of the local anesthetic agent thank you